Hello, science people. Today, I want to talk about the mRNA in the COVID-19 vaccine. I have heard some people say that they don't want to inject synthetic chemicals into their body, or they don't want to inject foreign substances. Well, the COVID-19 vaccine is an mRNA vaccine. It is injecting mRNA. In case you're not sure what that is, almost every cell in your body makes mRNA. You have DNA, which are the instructions for you. DNA is the instructions to make everything about you. But DNA is not what your cells read. Your cells read mRNA. What happens is the DNA is translated into mRNA, the messenger RNA, and that mRNA is read by a ribosome, which then builds the instructions that are on the mRNA. So you are full of mRNA. All of your cells are reading, almost all of your cells are reading mRNA all the time. mRNA is not a foreign substance. mRNA is not a weird synthetic chemical. It is how you are built. You are using mRNA all the time. So all we're doing is injecting mRNA instructions into your body. It goes into your cells and then your ribosomes read it and build what the mRNA says you end up building the spike proteins that are on COVID-19 viruses. And then once those spike proteins are created, then your body makes antibodies to block them. And that is it. You made those instructions to block those spike proteins, which are the antibodies. And now you have resistance to the COVID-19 virus. It is not injecting some weird synthetic substance, substance that has nothing to do with the human body. It is not a weird chemical. It is not something that is foreign. It is a part of us. We are full of mRNA all the time. And there is no weird side effects to mRNA. Everyone's saying, well, wait, we got to see what the side effects are. Well, your cells read mRNA and then destroy it right after. There's no long lasting effects of an mRNA. An mRNA is read and then destroyed. The virus will give you also this mRNA that you will create when you make the spike proteins and then you'll create antibodies that way. So there's no difference between catching COVID-19 and making your antibodies or getting the vaccine and making your antibodies, except you're going to make stronger and longer lasting antibodies from the vaccine compared to catching COVID-19. Well, I hope this helped you. As a biology teacher, I just wanted to remind everyone that we're full of mRNA all the time and it's not a foreign substance for us. All right, I'll see you guys next time.